Uh, hi there. Dirty Harry Callahan here. Uh, I owe Trey Passer a favor, so I've come to introduce this Saturday Reviews. This is embarrassing. Uh, did a big favor for me, so I kind of have to do what he says. So I'm here to, int to introduce Trey Passer's Saturday Reviews. Okay? Watch and enjoy. Christ. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Excuse me for a minute. Jesus Christ. This is very embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. Jesus Christ. This is very embarrassing. Off side of the wall and everything else. Jesus. I'm just sorry. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's try this. Ah, oh, Jesus, mother, son of a, oh, best. Hi, this is Trey Pastor, and welcome to my Saturday reviews. Uh, continuing my tradition of reviewing two movies on Saturday. Okay, and I have two animated classics, and as far as I'm concerned, they're animated classics. Uh, first one, of course, is Tarzan, the Disney movie, Walt Disney. Okay, this is an adaption of Tarzan, you know the story. And this is a, a Disney Pixar movie, The Incredibles, one of my absolute favorite animated movies of all time. So let's talk about Tarzan first, uh, the Walt Disney story. You know this, you know the, you know the story. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's a familiar story. And this animated version, and the music is done by Phil Collins. He does the, the soundtrack, and it actually matches certain events in the movie. And one of the best soundtracks ever. I remember this is. I don't go to see animated movies. For the most part, I don't. I think it's very rare that I go see animated movies, even though I, I like animated movies and I'll buy them when I get them on Blu ray. But I don't really go to see animated movies. But this movie, I went out of the way to see it because I heard great things and I heard the soundtrack when it came out and I went to see it. And I, I was amazed by this movie. This movie was just fantastic. And again, it's about the story of Tarzan, who, whose parents you know, brought him on an expedition to Africa. And of course, his parents were killed. And he's raised by an ape named Kayla, okay? And of course, he grew up thinking he was an ape, but of course, and there was, he had, this was his family, but of course, an expedition comes with Jane Porter and her father, and the hunter, um, I believe his name is Kurza, yeah, Clayton. Clayton, he comes to the, you know, in search of, uh, you know, getting pictures and stuff of gorillas and stuff, and, uh, and Tarzan meets Jane, and of course, and he, he's, of course, you know, struck by her way, ways, and this movie is actually one of the best adaptations of Tarzan ever. Like I said, there's been tons of, you know, Tarzan back with Johnny Westmiller and different versions, Lex Barker over the years and stuff, but this is my absolute favorite, favorite version of Tarzan. The animation, the voice work in this is absolutely great, and the soundtrack is killer. Okay, you have um, Glenn Close, who plays Kayla the Ape that raises Tarzan, Okay, and she's this great. You have Minnie Driver who plays Jane. Okay, who's absolutely fantastic. And then you also have Tony Goldman. I think who's very good as Tarzan. Okay, and this. And then you have uh, Nigel Hawthorne who plays Professor Porter. You know Jane's father. And then you have Brian Blessed who plays Clayton. You know the you know the hunter who really wants to get shots of the gorillas and stuff. And probably even capture them. Okay, and. Like I said, the soundtrack perfectly matches the situations in the movie. Phil Collins did a great job, and I believe he won an Academy Award for this sound soundtrack. Don't quote me on that, but I think he did. And this is my you know, this movie is not on Blu-ray in the states yet. I think it comes on Blu-ray. I think sometime this year. Don't, I'm not sure about that, but I know it's on Blu-ray overseas. Okay, but this is my absolute favorite favorite adaptation of Tarzan. I would give this movie a nine out of ten. It's just absolutely perfection to me. The soundtrack, the animation is top notch. The, the voice work is top notch. The you know the story, their version, the, the way they tell it with the, with the you know the animation and the Phil Collins song is just perfect for this movie. And it's one of the genuinely really good movies. I absolutely love this. Is favorite movie Tarzan live or live action or or you know or animation. This is just absolutely fantastic. And I believe there was a TV series. Based on this for a little while on Disney XD, I think, for a little bit. But anyway, 9 out of 10. Definitely worth seeing. And now, one of my 
another one of my top animated movies of all time. And this one is The Incredibles, okay? And this movie came out in 2004, okay? And it's about a family of superheroes, <laughs> okay? And it's about uh, Bob Parr, a.k.a. Mr. Incredible, and his wife Helen, a.k.a. an elastic girl, the world's greatest famous crime fighting superheroes, you know, in Metroville. And always saving lives and battling evil on a daily basis, but uh, if they get forced. I think they, they, I think the way it goes is there's a, a law that came up that they had to basically abandon their superhero, this you know, and live normal lives and civilian identities and to retreat to the suburbs, you know, okay, because they changed, they came up with a law, I think, with no superheroing, and so they had to basically live a nice, normal suburban life with their kids, okay, and they have three kids, of course, Violet, Dash, and Jack Jack, who's my favorite. Uh, who, you know, they're all born with superpowers, but they have to suppress it and not show it, of course. And this is killing, you know, especially uh, young Dash, who has the power power of speed. You know, he always wants to show it off, but he can't really, he can't do it. And and Bob Parr is, has a normal 9 to 5 office drone job, and he's absolutely bored to death out of it, doing this normal job. And, and, and Helen, his wife, is trying to, you know, keep the family together, but it's hard, like I said, because Bob is... He's not there. He's he's kind of burnt out. Not burnt out. He's kind of depressed and doing this, living this normal life when he can't be out there fighting crime like he wants to be. Okay. And he also he has a friend, <laughs> uh, played uh, Lucas Lucius Best, played by Samuel Jackson. Okay. He you know he hangs out with him and, sh and they all we you know shoot the breeze over old times and what they used to do, what it used to be like when they used to save the day. And everything, and of course, like I said, then you know, they, there's a law, so they can't really do it. But then one day, Bob Parr gets a you know, gets a chance of mysterious communication that summons him to some remote island to for a top secret assignment. And of course, as things are not what, what they appear to be, okay, when he gets to that island, and when, without spoiling the rest of the movie, basically, this is the story of the Incredibles, of this family, and how, like I said, they were forced to you know, not give up the superhero biz and how a situation arises where they basically are forced to come out okay and save the day again okay and this time it involves their whole family now this movie is my one of my absolutely favorite favorite animated movies of all time so much so that I I'm dying for them to make a sequel to this movie okay it's just great the voice work is fantastic and this is again I know I said it before but you got great voice work from Craig T. Nelson as Bob Parr, Helen Hunter as Helen Parr, you got Samuel Jackson as Lucius Frost and you got Jason Lee as Buddy uh, Pine or Syndrome, okay? And he, his his character plays a very important part in this movie, without spoiling, okay? And again, this is about a family that's been forced to give up the superhero and live a normal life, and then a situation arises where they have to come out again and basically save the day. And this time, it's not just Elastic Girl and and um, Mr. Incredible. It's the whole family, and it's a great, great movie. Absolutely perfect, perfect animation, one of the... Pixar's best, and I, oh, oh, I wish they'd make a sequel to this movie. This movie is fantastic. I would give this a 9 out of 10. It's absolutely perfection. This is the DVD, and I have a Blu-ray over there. But uh, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite movies. Just a fun ride, and I even have it on my phone. Okay, my iPhone. I bought this movie. That's how much I loved it. I bought it on DVD. I bought it online, and I put it on my phone. And, you know, so I can always have it there whenever I want to watch it. Okay, coming up back and forth to work. So again, Incredibles, I would give a 9 out of 10. And they definitely should make a sequel to this movie. Please, please make a sequel to this movie. And again, Tarzan, one of the best adaptations of Tarzan ever. Okay, and I would give this movie a 9 out of 10 as well. Soundtrack, voice work, animation, all top notch. And this movie has a lot, a lot of heart. Definitely. Okay, again, two nines. Very rarely you get two nines out of me, but these two movies are that good. Okay, so anyway, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave comments down below. And this is Trey Passer from uh, Trey Passer Saturday Review saying so long and take care.